I am back with the Switch that's on a diet. That's right. I have the illustrious turquoise Switch Lite. And we're going to have a look at it today and yet another super cool unboxing. All right, so I'm here with the Switch Lite. So this is the smaller version of the Nintendo Switch that's purely portable. You can't connect it to a TV at all. The TV will yell at you and say no. Actually, it just won't do anything, but you can't do it. So don't try it. All right. I got the turquoise because I really wanted the Pokemon one, but I really wasn't willing to wait until November. Plus, all the pre-orders are pretty much sold out for it. So I couldn't get the Mike Tucks it out color one, but I got as close as I could possibly get. I was having a hard time choosing between the blue and the yellow, but blue is my favorite color, and this is also the color that I use for a lot of stuff for the channel artwork, so I figured it'd be a little bit better. It's not the Mike Tech that I'm It is. It's Pokemon Sword Shield. It is the Mike Tech. That's the one that Nintendo made for me, especially. Um, unfortunately, they didn't get me one in time before it sold out. They were, I talked Goliath. to them. They were, they were gonna send me one. Anyway, let's go Goliath. ahead and get this open. So you got the little corner tab. It seems like it's pretty easy to open. Boom. Pull that out. And there's an elaborate cardboard thing. Let me not pull it out upside down. Okay, that's not bad. And that's all that's in this main box. It's just, you know, inside of every great box is another sometimes pretty good box. So you have the switch light here. This is one thing I was curious about. I didn't know if it came with a charger or not. So let's see. You got your instructions, safety stuff. Don't don't eat it, kids. Don't eat the switch. All right, oh, it does come with the power cord. So this is the same. This is actually the same power adapter. I believe that comes with the switch dock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one. Because technically you can just unplug the switch dock and just use the power adapter directly with the regular switch now. So we got that, we got the power adapter. We got the switch. Let's go ahead and get it unbagged. We unboxed it. Now this is the next level. We got to unbag it. All right. And we have the switch lights. Let me put this bag over here. I'm so glad I don't have to clean that stuff up. Anyway, so we have the switch lights. Turquoise. All right. I'm, li I'm liking this. I like how the thumb pads are white, but then under them, the that little part is black. I think that's really cool. It's a nice aesthetic. Even the power button has a little LED indicator around it, but it gives us some extra definition. Like if you look at this online, it doesn't look like it's very detailed, but in person, it feels pretty nice. And it's a lot easier to grip than the regular Nintendo Switch. So yeah, and then of course you have your D-pad. I don't, I don't personally care. Everybody was like, oh, it's better to have the D-pad. I thought the buttons were fine. I don't care either way personally. Um, but I guess there's no point in having the buttons because these don't come off, so you can't use them as face buttons like you can on the regular Switch controllers. So let's get this powered on if it's not dead. Okay, so it's not dead. Just to see how the screen be looking. So this screen is a bit smaller than your traditional Nintendo Switch. It sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna set this up later because you gotta sign into accounts and whatnot, but I thought it'd be a good comparison to have the Switch OG and then the Switch Lite so you can kind of see the size difference here. So yeah, I didn't, in my mind it didn't click when they said Switch Lite that it was gonna be this much more compact. I mean, I like, it's a good thing because I play the Switch Portable 90% of the time anyway. So this regular switch is actually going over to Jeff. It's gonna be his primary. This is gonna be my primary, so. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Shout out. But yeah, you can kind of see the screen size differences here. Uh, the switch obviously is a lot bigger. The controllers up here are obviously a lot sturdier because if you do this with the switch and I'm having my fake, I have my uh, hand back here to brace it obviously because I don't wanna break it, but obviously there's a quick bit of a wobble because the controllers come off here. This is like one big sturdy thing. It really feels a lot better as a handheld as than the regular Switch was. The regular Switch is still great, but if you play it in handheld mode like I do, this is a lot, that like I can one hand this. This is almost pocketable. 
you know, if you if you wear like normal size jeans. I probably can't fit this in my pockets, but some people probably could. But yeah, I I'm really digging the switch lights. Like I said, I'm not gonna set it up right now, but it's it's a cool system. It, it has its compromises, no detachable controllers, no TV out. But it doesn't matter if you just want to play it portable. This is a better portable system than the regular Switch, which is still great, by the way. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed these Switches, make sure to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, and always remember to play at least two Switches at the same time. Haha, <laughs> peace! And don't forget, Jeff Super Cool Collectibles. No one, no one knows what that is. Ah. Don't forget to go there, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on YouTube at Jeff, the real Jeff RG.